Hello everyone! We have decided to prepare a comprehensive guide of how to connect and set up various devices to Audio Pressbox. This guide is divided into various chapters and in the menu on the right or in the section below, feel free to jump to buy your desired category. How to connect a condenser gooseneck microphone to audio press box. First of all, you plug in the microphone into the desk stand. Then you connect the microphone XLR to XLR cable into the desk stand. And then you plug in the cable XLR to XLR into the input section of audio press box. Then you turn the unit on. Then uh, make sure that the phantom power button is pressed on. It means it's glowing red uh, and the pad button is pressed off. Again, you can adjust. Uh, it should be set to roughly three o'clock. So when talking to the microphone, it should reach uh, zero dB. This is a basic setup of how to connect a condenser gooseneck microphone to audio press box and the device is now ready to be used. How to connect a dynamic microphone to audio press box. So, first of all, you take the XLR to XLR cable and connect it to the dynamic microphone. Then, you take the other end and plug it into the input section of audio press box. You turn the unit on and in the input section, you make sure that no buttons are pressed. Only thing that you adjust is the gain so when you are talking to the microphone, it should reach roughly 0 dB. And this is the basic setup of a dynamic microphone together with audio press box. How to connect a wireless microphone to audio press box. First of all, you turn on and set up your wireless microphone receiver. Then you take an XLR to XLR cable and plug it to the wireless receiver. Then you take the other end and plug it into the input section of audio press box. We turn on the unit and in the input section we press on the pad. We make sure that the uh, pad is pressed. Then we adjust the gain. When talking to the microphone uh, it should reach roughly 0 dB. So we adjust the gain to desired position. This is a basic setup of a wireless microphone connected to audio press box. How to connect a conferencing system to the audio press box. So, first of all, you turn on the main unit of your conferencing system and you set it up. Then, you take um, XLR to XLR cable and plug it into the main unit into the line output. Then the other end of the XLR you plug in into the input section of audio press box. Then you turn the unit on and in the input section you make sure to press the pad and adjust the gain so when talking to the microphone it reaches roughly 0 dB. And this is a basic setup of how to connect the conferencing system to the audio press box directly. How to connect a mixing console to audio press box. So, first of all, we take an XLR to XLR cable and plug it to the left output of mixing console. Then, we take the other end of the XLR cable and we plug it to the input section of audio press box. We turn the unit on and in the input section we press the pad button. And this is a basic setup of how to connect a mixing console to audio press box. How to connect a condenser gooseneck microphone to mixing console and to audio press box. So, first of all, we connect an XLR to XLR cable into the gooseneck microphone. 
The other end, we connect to the mixing console. Make sure that the phantom power in the mixing console is on. Then, with another uh, XLR to XLR cable, we connect the output of the mixing console, turn the device on, uh, before connecting uh, the input from the mixing console, make sure that phantom power is off and turn or press the pad. The pad must be turned on. Then connect the line input from the mixing console. After that, adjust the gain. So when, the, you, are, when you are talking to the microphone, it reaches roughly zero dB. And this is the basic setup of a gooseneck condenser microphone connected to the mixing console and mixing console connected to the audio press box. How to connect an active loudspeaker to audio press box. So, on the back side of your active loudspeaker, you set the volume to as minimum as possible. Then, with a standard XLR to XLR cable, you connect from uh, the input of the active loudspeaker to any of the outputs of audio press box. Just make sure that it's switched, the audio press box output is switched to the line output level. Then, with the volume knob on the loudspeaker, you adjust the volume so it's desired. Voila, it's done. how to connect an iRig to stream video conferences using your smartphone through, for example, Facebook. So, first of all, we connect the uh, gooseneck microphone. We have explained that earlier, so I'll skip the steps here. I'll just plug it in. So first, we take the iRig stream. Uh, we have a special cable, which is an XLR female to 2 inch. We connect this one to the iRig stream. The XLR female we plug into any of the outputs of audio press box. Just make sure that it's switched to the line output level. Then we connect the attached cable that came with the iRig stream, which has either USB C ending or lightning connector for iPhone. You plug this into your smartphone. Now to test it, you just start a voice recorder and you turn it on. And as soon as you start talking, you can see that uh, directly on the iRig, it shows you if the level is okay, low or high. And you can adjust it with the knob in the middle. How to connect a voice recorder to audio press box. So for this setup, we have connected a condenser gooseneck microphone into the input of audio press box. Then we connect the voice recorder to any of the outputs of audio press box. We turn on the voice recorder. And here you can see in detail that uh, we have the input one. We just make sure, depending on the voice recorder, but with this one, that we either have a mic output level selected on the audio press box and pad is off on the voice recorder, or we set line on the output of audio press box and we press the pad on the voice recorder. In this case, it's a perfect setup to record the signal from the audio press box unit. How to connect a professional camera to audio press box. So, first of all, we connect the condenser gooseneck microphone to audio press box. We have explained this earlier, so I won't talk much about that. All right, now uh, with a standard XLR to XLR cable, we 
plug it into the input of the camera. The other end of the XLR to XLR cable we plug to any of the outputs of audio press box. We turn the camera on. Then what is important that in the input section settings, we select a line input and in the output of audio press box, we select the line output. Now the camera is ready. To check it, we press on the status check and when talking to the microphone, you can very easily see that uh, it's set up perfectly and ready to use. This was a setup for a line output level. We can do it now the same with the mic. So in the output section of audio press box, we select mic output level. In the camera settings, we select mic. And again, on the status, you can very easily see that it's perfectly ready to be used. If needed, with uh, standard headphones, you can just listen to the uh, output of audio press box. Just connect it to the camera and when talking you can very easily see that it's set up perfectly. All right, so this is a basic setup of how to connect a professional camera to audio press box. How to connect a camera to audio press box. First of all, we connect the condenser Kuznek microphone with standard XLR to XLR cable. We have explained that a bit earlier, how to set that up. Then we take a 3.5 millimeter jack to XLR cable. The XLR we plug in into any outputs of audio press box. The 3.5 millimeter jack we plug in to the camera. Then in the camera settings, uh, it's different for each type of camera, we select the microphone, either mic or line output level to match the mic or line input in the camera settings. And this is a basic setup of how to connect the camera to audio press box. How to connect a Dante-enabled press box to the Dante network and check it uh, with the computer. So, first of all, you connect the POE switch with the computer. Make sure they are on the same network. Then, you connect the POE switch with the Dante-enabled press box. Then you go to your PC and through the Dante Control Manager, you set it up. When you open uh, Dante Controller, you see a window with all Dante devices on the network. On the top, there are Dante audio sources, also called transmitters. And on the left side, there are Dante receivers to patch or route signal from the source to the receiver. Just click on the plus to see all the channels and simply click on the desired cross point so you will connect exact transmitter channel to the receiver channel. So in this case some channel from the AVO to APB. If you click on the selected or cross point you just unroot it and you can click to the next to make new routing more useful settings are on the device info tab and by double clicking to the APB you will see some more information 
in the device config tab you can change the name of the APB simply type in what you want and click apply and the name of the APB will change also you can change the sample rate and the preferred encoding on the network config tab you can uh, set up the IP address of the APB by default there is uh, obtain an IP address automatically but also you can change it to manual config so you can type your preferred IP address and click apply and after rebooting the APB will have a new IP address when we click the refresh button in the device info we can see the change of the name of the APB and also the change IP address Thank you for watching and for any feedback, feel free to contact us on sales at audiopressbox.com. Thank you.